But anyway, let's go ahead and beat up Queen Bee over here because she's really too busy. Oh, oh, got the counterattack. She's really too busy over here shield voting to the crowd and not really into that. Oh, she even dodged my grapple attack here. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One Shot. I'm your host for the evening, the Luchador, known as Falcon. And this right here is indeed Honey Rose, underdog fighter extraordinaire. And I'll be honest with you right off the bat here, this is a personal favorite game of mine already, even though I've only played it for like a couple of days at the most here. I'm just a really big fan of the overall theme behind it because it's very wrestling luchador underground fight club oriented and that's a really big i enjoy stuff like that i'm a big uh wrestling fan i'm a big ufc fan so i just enjoy that aspect of the game however it's a really cool game because it's done differently it's not just a straight up hey go out there and fight type of game it actually mixes in a little bit of a visual novel type of aspect to it it's very similar in regards to gameplay like a, a persona 3 or 4 maybe where Half of that game is mostly just um, visual novel where you basically have to talk to people, uh, make relationships, and like train your stats in a sense and your social links and stuff like that. And then the other aspect of the game is going to be just a bunch of dungeon crawling, correct? Honey Rose is very similar to that where you are actually a, a school student. Um, I think you're like a college student or something like that. So you have to manage your, your grades and social links. Well, not really social links, but essentially how you interact with other people. And then the other aspect of it is that you happen to moonlight as a wrestler, as an underground fighter, because you have a uh, passion inside of you where you just want to be the best fighter of all time. Alrighty, so we have control here. What's actually cool about this, even though I mentioned it's like a, a visual novel in a sense, when you're actually fighting, it'll all be in real time. So it'll be like a fighter, brawler, beat em up. So you'll be able to move back, you'll be able to duck, jump, punch, kick, counterattack, etc., etc. So all this is actually done in real time, which is actually pretty cool. I'm actually the one controlling the movement towards the ring here. Alrighty, so our very first match is going to be against Queen B. Um, and it's not really something you can lose, I don't think. At least I don't imagine you could lose. Essentially, she's just telling you how to actually fight by shielding to the crowd. So, let me show you. Oh! Dropped her on her ass! Now I'm just ducking away. Those underground hits, these are really strong because that's kind of like your special attack. I really love this, this little, little ducking feature and then you move forward. This is actually really good for miss, um, dodging a lot of top attacks, mind you. But, as you can see, I could jump. I could duck to dodge, I could jump and kick, I could actually jump and punch. It's all real time, which is actually pretty cool. You could also block by moving back like a fighter game. And if they actually attack you while you're blocking, you have a chance of actually instantly counter-attacking, which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and beat up Queen Bee over here because she's really too busy. Oh, oh got the counter-attack! She's really too busy over here shield voting to the crowd and not really into that. Oh, she even dodged my grapple attack here. Let's see if I can just get a pile driver happening. I don't think this is going to really happen. Let me go for the uppercut, though. Oh, she's almost down. Oh, the kick to the gut. It's over for Queen B. Now, this actually transitions over to the story itself. So, these would be our parents kind of watching this fight. But as I mentioned, there's a whole entire movement going on where young adults are getting involved in this underground fighting, and the adults don't really approve of it. They see it as like delinquent acts and stuff like that. Announcer, Queen B falls to the ground, and yes, the referee calls the win. This is... Click. Subsequent rise in delinquent crimes and minor felonies and other news. This is a dad now. Ah, what a waste of time. Mass fighting tournaments. Can't see... Can't these kids find a better way to use their days? It's everywhere in the street now. The walls are covered with outlandish posters and everybody talks about matches and waiting lines. It sets quite the example for the children. Very true. If it had a hint of class, perhaps, but... Those garish outfits, those moves... You know what they lack? The whole lot of them? Finesse. That's what. How ridiculous. Why, back in the day... Oh! But you look a bit unwell, dear. I was ranting it, wasn't I? Sorry about that. I know you'd never let all this get to your head. For you, there's school tomorrow, and I hear a test is coming up. Matt wasn't? Hmm. You're feeling confident? Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. I got it covered. You know me. Always prepared. Yep. Either way, do your best, sweetheart. We wouldn't want a repeat of last semester, now would we? No, we definitely wouldn't want that. I'll, uh, be off to bed. Now then. Good night, Mom. Dad. I'll try to do a little bit of voice acting here for you. I'm um, not, not, not really um, going to go ahead and uh, tout my female voice as aspirations here in terms of like voice acting, but I'll do what I can. i got to just raise my voice really high for it, I guess. Uh, I, I, you know what, fuck it. We'll just use my voice for the regular character. She'll be talking a lot, so I really can't do that voice the entire time, man. Last night, the referee called to win my first victory. It's the first of many. 
It has to be. Thing is, I can't allow them to know. In their eyes, I'm their sweet, studious honey. Off to bed, honey? Yeah, right. You're the only one who knows. Nice to meet you, by the way. I'm... Well, I'm glad you're here, basically. Hope you'd be around earlier, but we'll make do. You know, we're going to spend quite a while together. Might as well get the basics out of the way. My name is not important. You can think of me as Honey Rose. That's who I want as yesterday. That's what I want to be seen as, known as, remembered as. The tournament's happening now, right here in town. Never thought it would, but I need to grasp this chance. I have to beat Big Blue before they all pack up and leave. I'll never get another opportunity like this. Easier said than done, right? I'll be counting on you, and you can... Make sh you can sure as hell rely on me. We'll make it to the top together. Though before that can happen, there's the small matter of the math test. Ugh. Let's see what happens tomorrow and take it from there. Alrighty. She's apparently gone insane too because she's talking to herself. She thinks another person in the room, which is us. So yeah, she's lost her marbles. I guess that one hit in the fight ring just completely knocked her off her senses here. Uh, La Croix University Biology Senior Course. Following straight in my dad's footsteps only after a few small detours. Really? My day over? The Clark Kent to my Superman, more like. Now, I'll be straight with you. I'm really not that interested, but I can't afford to completely slack off. We made a deal. I have to graduate this year, or else we'll move to a different town. And I'll get sent to this St. Boniface Covenant for Obedient Schoolgirls. Now is my only opportunity to make it to the top of the tournament. I have to... I have until July to face Big Blue, the Legend of the Ring, and to get my degree somehow. Whatever happens in the coming months, I need to make sure my cover here isn't blown either, and that means... Hey, Red! Red, that's right. That's how they've taken the colony around here. Don't ask, it's probably not what you think. Hey, Alice, uh, you're unusually chipper for a Friday morning. And you're cutting it close once again, aren't you? The morning classes are about to start. I was waiting to see if you turn up. Yeah, y you know how it is. Stay up late watching TV next days. Haha, <laughs> right? What were you watching? Was it the latest match by any chance? It was, wasn't it? I know, wasn't it awesome? Those costumes, those moves. <laughs> I take it you watched it too then? Of course, who wouldn't? Carry on wind is awesome. She's been rising through the ranks super fast lately. She's already qualified for the second round and... Oh, right, the, that Crow Girl. No, I, I meant the other match. Which one? Oh, you mean the filler local match? Queen Bee versus, um, what's her name? That was pretty small time. Are you into that? I'm more interested in the rising stars. Nationwide, worldwide, aiming for the top, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. The low rank scene girls ain't bad, but you have to set up your sights higher. Red, the really exciting fighters are those under the spotlight. I mean, you like Big Blue, you should know that. Uh, will you guys ever stop with this argument? Come on, we're gonna be late again. Right, Red, we'll pick this up later. But I tell ya. And there it is, same old, same old. A story's gonna start somewhere. Well, he thinks he thinks we're small fry. Well, he thinks... Que um... Honey Rose is um, small fry, which happens to be us. Uh, okay, here I am again. What's today's plan? So, we could head to class, we could go over to the library to learn about how the school aspect of the game works, we could sneak into the gym if we want to train, so even when you're at school, you could actually go and train your body. So up here you have, I'm not sure you can see my arrow, I'm going to give it a chance over here with my key, but uh, or my mouse anyway, but um, uh, we have strength, we have defense, agility, biology, linguistics, mathematics. Over here we have your um, studious um, stats, and over here you have your training and fighting ones, obviously. You have to level them all out because you actually have to do good in school at the same time also keeping up a proper training regimen for the fight. Um, the game, as you probably already noticed as well with the video, is indeed uh, with borders on the side. Um, I tried stretching the video out fully for us, but it just looked very stretched out and watered out, so we'll just go ahead and just deal with the borders over here. But um, that's basically all you need to know for here. I can also go to the locker room, and apparently, uh, I'm not sure of my... No, I don't think my suit's here. Let's go take a look at the locker room. This is a really good place to either hide your suit. Sometimes you need to hide your suit for whatever reason. Maybe um, your reputation meter is over here. You have your suspicion meter. If people are too suspicious that you might be Honey Rose, you might not want to have that suit on you. So it's a good thing to actually hide it in different places. And here's Curtis again. Are you in the same locker room? Oh, this is like a regular locker room. I thought it was like a, a gym locker room. I was saying, what are you doing here in the females locker room, you, you pervert? Red, what are you? I mean, I'm surprised to see you here. You hang around the locker often? No, not really. I just like to check if things are right around here now and then. You never know. Uh, I guess you're right. In any case, I really must be on my way. Take care. I'll catch you later, Red. Now that I think about it, he was the one acting suspicious here. Where was he off to in such a hurry? 
Everything looks alright in there, it should be perfect hiding spot if I need to bring my suit at school, which we will be doing quite a bit. To tell the truth, I don't train in the gym here outside P hours without it, I know it sounds crazy, but trust me, it'll be less complicated to talk my way out of here as honey if I'm caught sneaking around. Yeah, go figure. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to our first class here, because why not? Is that time already? Uh, I suppose I need to dive right in. Hope there will be some room in the back. And we do have a, a math test coming up on the 6th, I want to say. So it's probably in your best incentive to get some math learning here. However, unfortunately, we have linguistics class today, which is not what we're looking for. Um, so we could either stay awake and get some you know, rise in our linguistics, so we could also go to sleep here, and if we're too tired, our energy meter on the left corner up, or left corner is actually too low, we can just rest in class and get that meter back up as well, so you kind of have to, like, balance it out how you want to go for it here. But since we're, you know, nice and fine right now, let's go ahead and, um, stay focused. No sleeping free today, honey. Fine, fine, it's your head. Ugh, actually, would probably have been mine. Okay, get ready, everyone. I've had a brand new idea on how to get you all ready. Not only for the next test, but for the wide world that awaits you out there when you're done. Ready to hear it? Wait for it? Here it goes. It's kind of like... Okay. <laughs> this guy's gonna go here just jabber about. It's actually something I could follow and agree with for once. Hey, she actually agreed with it. Alright. The, the, the teacher thing would just be random filler, which I'll just ignore. Watch out, coming through. Hi there, sweetheart. Had a nice day. Yeah, it was. Uh, I guess it was alright. Okay, then. Everything is working out at school? Yeah, the usual. You know the drill. How about your friends? Anything to report there? Hey, what is this? Dad, please. It was fine, okay? I just need to go to my room and, you know, study some more. Fair enough, honey. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses now and again, though, alright? We're glad to see you here, too, you know. Yeah, come on, Dad. Get off my grill already, dog. How's your friends? How's school? What's this? How about you asking way too many questions? A lot of personal questions here, Papa. I'm pretty bush, but maybe I should try to stay awake for just a little longer. So now we get to sleep. A bit too tired, we could go ahead and just rest. We could study. We have a math test coming up. We could sneak out and get involved with some late night um, interactions with other people. Sometimes you get involved in some fights as well, which can help you with your training. And then you could also send sponsorship applications, which are actually needed to um, just sponsor you for future fights. You want to get your raise, your rise up. And that would be your reputation over here. You want to make sure that people are taking notice of you, because if they do, then you'll be able to move up the rank and eventually fight Big Blue before July, which is apparently your deadline. Um, for now, let's go ahead and just um, study. We'll go outside tomorrow. We'll actually probably play hooky from school. But since we have a math test coming up, let's go into mathematics over here. Sure, I don't mind. Let's do this. So if you look up here, you'll probably notice that... I'll just skip this over here. Our energy went down, but our mathematics went up a little bit. And you'll see a difference in it when it changes to, like, a different color. So right now, we're all in red. It's kind of like the lowest point that we're all at here at the moment. But as you progress, you'll see a different color change. will tell you, hey, you're doing better in so-and-so aspect of the game here. Okay. Now, this will be our very first morning in, in the room, which gives you a whole different slew of different options here. Right and Dire will be your, your safe... Your saving system, in a sense, you could save and load from here. Um, rest if you're too tired, obviously. Check self is going to be for your, um, <laughs> I guess your clothing. How you want to go out and dress like today, right? So here we have a level up shirt. Sure, that'll do. Uh, check the calendar. Let's see what's coming up here. So as you can see, test schedule. On the 6th of February, we do have a math test, which is uh, four days away from now. Okay. And let's see, check emails. This will tell you when you're sending off applications or maybe an upcoming fight or just very important information will show up over here. Make sure you check this out every single day. Uh, most of the time you'll get a bunch of like spam, so nothing too much to worry about, but you might as well just check it out. Um, the blue options don't let you skip forward a time slot while the red ones do. So if you want to just go through the blue ones, then that won't like make you skip forward in the day. So keep that in mind. And over here we can go ahead and grab our suit, which we will. So let's go ahead and take out my suit. And the reason I'm doing this is because now we have the option of playing hooky and going to downtown and training with our coach, our actual Honey Rose coach, as opposed to just going to downtown and training either in strength, defense, or agility. So, let's go over here. We're going to be playing hooky for today. I know we have a test coming up and everything, but come on, man. I could either t study for a test for math, or I could go out there and just be the best luchador of all time. And you know what? Best luchador of all time sounds a lot better to me. So, feels great to be out and about. What's our next move? So... Um, you might as well check out the official ring, why not? Always a good idea. I'll head there now. Again, the blue options don't make you skip forwards, you can go ahead and check those out whenever you want to. 
There's no match planned for today. The ring is eerily empty. I like coming to sit here. If it helps me focus, it'll reminder. It'll be a reminder as to what's at stake. I'm a bit stressed now to tell you the truth. I know I won't stand in this ring for a while still, but I'm sure Coach would offer words of wisdom about this and tell me to be patient. But I'm just itching to get in there and be seen. All right, let's go over here and talk to our coach. Now you saw the option over here for strolling around. If you stroll around, you actually have a chance of just um, triggering like you know random events with um, either friends, some um, possible future opponents, etc., etc. And everything has a really big impact in the game. It'll give you either advice, it'll give you hints, etc., etc., and also initiate other quests. But right now, I just want to train with the coach so you can see more of the in-game action here. Oh, it sounds like coach isn't alone. I'll take a peek and see who he's talking to. Hey, who is that? Coach. No, I'm sorry. How about 40,000 then? Again, I have to decline. It simply isn't about that. Alright, what is it about then? Tell me, you know I can make it happen. As far as I know, this is the one thing that is out of your reach. <laughs> what is it she offered you then? Don't tell me. Of course not! And the simple fact that you can't comprehend it is proof enough that you won't be able to ever obtain it. Maybe so, but maybe I don't need it. Maybe I was something else to something else to bargain for, or maybe I could just make you. No, I expect you wouldn't either. I can see underneath your mask that there is more honor to what you seek than you like to pretend. You may know about me, but that is as far as you will take it. It's true, I won't push any further, then. But there is one thing you will do for me in exchange. Of course, I will not tell her, and if she were to ever fall... Let's leave it at that, then. I'll take my leave. For now. Whoa, sounded heavy. What just happened? Was that evil crow trying to blackmail Coach? Who are they talking about? You don't think she's plotting to... Gulp? Think I had to watch my back? <laughs> uh, apparently she's gonna kill me because she wants my um, training slot here with Coach. Alrighty. What will it be today, Honey Rose? Training, I hope? Alright, so we could have a word first. This will be for like random advice about fights, upcoming fights. So you'll be able to learn who's your upcoming opponent. Uh, let's actually do that one right now. Who's my next opponent? Ah, I see. What do you wish to know exactly? Uh, I don't know. For starters, do you know my next opponent? I've only ever seen posters. How about some tips? In that case, I know a thing or two that just might off be of help. Listen up. Her mass title is Little Sun, but don't be deceived. She's stronger than her name might imply. Much like you are, she's a newcomer to the ring. Don't think she's just another aspiring star hoping to cruise her way to the top, however. She relies on a very strong aerial fighting style. She spends most matches high up in the air, always ex ending up above her opponents, especially as they lay defeated. Uh, I get the picture. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, that sort of thing. Yes, but with more reliable tools and a simple dot, you should especially watch out for her air grapple, as you are. I don't believe you could break free of her grasp. What? Why? Aren't you here to teach me a timely and weirdly coincidental counter move or something? Unfortunately, I'm afraid there is no sure thing. You can however time your strikes to hit her before she soars. If you topple her off balance, she will have a hard time regaining her composure. So basically, just wait for her to move and punch it down? I can do that. You can also consider putting your strange duck walk to good use. By staying low, you can keep out of the range, but defense isn't always the best offense. You must look in her in the eye and strike. Hey, you make it sound like such an underhanded tactic, coach. But I catch your drift. Stay on the move, catch her unaware, and punch my way to victory. What else? You tell me, Honey Rose. Let's do a little bit of training now. So again, this gave us a really good idea as to what we should probably focus on our coming fight over here, which is actually pretty cool. So it's very important to talk to these people just to kind of get that information here. Uh, I'm kind of skipping a bit over here because I want to get into the ring itself. So train in the ring. He kind of gave us a little bit of um, tips on how to counterattack and stuff. So let's actually go into the ring and see it firsthand for ourselves here. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere until you do. So we got like a punch or something. Good. Now try going the other way. Well, you're telling me about the basics maneuvering, huh? Let's move on to jumping. I know how to jump. Very good. You see, it's rather simple. What else you got? Jumping is an efficient mobility tool. Mm hmm. You're right about that. You have some degree of air control while in the air. Yeah, I can see that. We'll go over to another time. For now, let's move on to ducking. To duck, simply press down. Excellent. Ducking's a very useful evasion move. Alright. But it's not the only one. Try crouching now. That's it. It will not bring you as low as ducking, but you can stay crouching. You can alternate between crouching and standing as needed. Mm -hmm. Stand upright again so we can move on. I'm upright, coach. What's up, dog? What, what's now? It's time to practice your offense. Attack me. Oh, you got it. I was waiting for this. Yeah. Bring that ass down. <laughs> oh, 
Let me see. Oh, don't block my grapple, you jerk. Alrighty, fine. What's next? I just want to power drive somebody, you know? If you've been following, I shouldn't have to tell you how to do it. Oh, you told me what to do something? Think about it. What would a crouching punch entail? Oh, a crouching punch, right. So crouch and boom. You did well. That covers the fundamentals. You'll notice that more powerful strikes frame more stamina. You can train to increase both your maximum stamina and recovery and speed. Next time, we'll go over chaining your moves together. For now, just practice what we reviewed. So, since we might not have another next time because our video is running a bit short now, um, you can basically combo attacks like so. The long range attack is going to be your kick over here. You can also do the jumping stuff like that. And as we saw with the very first fight, if we block in a timely manner and just go ahead and, um, <laughs> I fucking love this so much. <laughs> like, what would you do if you somebody saw, you saw somebody fighting you this way, just kind of like crouching over here like this way towards you? I would be like, you know, under, like, honestly, very overwhelmed and be like, you know what? I want no part of this right now. I have no idea what this person's doing. It might be too troubling, but yeah. Oh, stop blocking the grapple. Anyway, let's get on out of here. That's enough for today. And back home we are. So let's see here. I'm pretty bush, but maybe I should try to stay awake for just a little longer. Um, but we do know we have a test coming up. Our energy isn't really too low at the moment, so we might as well just go ahead and study. Uh, we could send out those applications as well for sponsorship, but honestly, I don't think it really works early on until you have like at least another fight under your belt. So maybe after your very first, or I guess your first one was against Queen B. After your second fight, I guess, against Little Sun. That's probably when you can start sending out those applications and you'll probably get a response here. So I'm going to do mathematics. Um, also, I should note, um, the events in the game are random. And I was sneaking out a lot early in my off-camera play. And on one of the events where I was sneaking off, I actually ran into a couple of thieves who stole my outfit and ran off. So I had to obviously chase them down in order to find my outfit again. And I, it, it basically entered me into a street fight against two individuals. It was like one against two, essentially, at the same time. Really difficult fight, but I was able to, like, you know, bring it down just by, you know, playing it safe. But, um, again, there's different aspects and different type of events where you could actually get involved in different fights based on what's happening. So, all the events do seem to be a bit random in the game, so nothing's like, you know, like, hey, if I go here at so-and-so time, this will happen. It's a lot of, like, randomness involved, so it does encourage, like, multiple playthroughs, which is actually pretty cool. Anyway, so we got our studying in here. Uh, let's check our calendar. We do know our test is coming up on the 6th. Today is the 3rd. Eh, I could go over here into the university. Actually, no, it's Sunday. Ah, no school today. So, um, we have our suit. Let's go and... Now we have any emails. Let's go to downtown. And let me show you the actual um, training of your stats. Because what we did with Coach is basically teaches you about fundamentals. And ring actual um, combat styles, but... Going to the... Oh! It's a little sun! That's gonna be our very first or our second opponent, anyway. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, no worries. The streets are pretty crowded. Hey! Oh, man, that was a little sun, wasn't it? What do you think she was doing here at this hour? She seemed in a hurry. Important mass fighter business? What's there to be in a hurry about except for matches? Oh, maybe she's out there also training much like we are. So here's downtown. And let's see. Again, the coach thing would be just more fundamentals. Let's go to the... Um, stroll around could trigger as a scene or maybe an event, but at the same time, it could just be like another event with like friends who might invite you somewhere. Let's go over to the sporting temple. I want to show off the training of the stats over here. Now, at certain random times in the game, your character will be like overwhelmed with a lot of energy for some reason or another. Maybe cocaine. I don't I have no idea. But sometimes she'll let you know, hey, I'm feeling really good, which means um, you could come down here to the complete course, which will actually increase both um, strength, defense, and agility at the same time. Most of the times, you'll only be able to choose one. But sometimes she'll feel like really, really good and you can do the complete course for all three stats. But uh, I normally just focus on upper body strength for just like that knockout power. That's my thing. Knockout power all the way, baby. Uh, right, I'll definitely need some of that. Time to pump some iron. One, two, three, four, five. I'm doing all right. Just your everyday regular girl doing some training. Nothing unusual about that. Well, as long as you keep the suit off, I think it should be fine. So what if I lifted this guy off the ground and help him recover from that fall? Big deal. <laughs> As you can see now, in the upper left corner, we are actually quite tired, which will indeed start impacting what we are allowed to do because of our, you know, fatigue. So we'll have to get some rest here for tonight. Is anyone home? 
I should count my blessings at least. There's no one to witness me crawling up the stairs because we're so goddamn pooped out. And by the way, your parents will start noticing if you're too tired as well and actually bring it up, which is when your suspicion meter goes up as well. Alrighty, so we're just going to sleep over here. And with that, guys, I do believe, as you guys, we got our energy back here. With that, guys, I do believe we're going to wrap it up here. I just want to give you guys a quick little look at how the in ring combat goes, which, you know, I unfortunately cannot get to a fight because it's at the end of the month. But as I showed you the intro fight and some of the, you know, training with the coach here, all the information for the game will be down below. This comes out on the 30th, if I'm correct. If you enjoy want to see some more, let me know in the comments. and might just keep it around for a series. I wouldn't mind doing that. It's actually pretty cool. I enjoy it quite a bit, so it's not a big deal. But um, September 30th, information will be down below. I will catch you next time.